Okay, uh, let's look at the practice exam two, problem number five, part E, right? So uh, let's take the derivative of uh, this uh, quotient, a uh, rational function, using a quotient rule along with a um, uh, chain rule, right? Right, so this is going to be equal to, right? So a uh, quotient rule, right? Square the bottom, so we have quantity x squared plus 5 and it's already cubed so it's co it's going to be 6th power All right then uh, actually um, I forgot to maybe I'll, I'll uh, move this guy this is just a number so put it in front so uh, I'll put 3 here All right then take the derivative of the top which is 2x since I'm just looking at the x squared, so maybe I'll indicate that. So I'm just looking at that, right? Uh, times the denominator, which is uh, x squared plus five cubed minus the top is x squared times the derivative of the denominator, which is going to be three in front, x squared plus five subtract 1 from the power, so it's 2, multiply by derivative of inside, which is 2x. So we have that. All right, then we're going to pull out all the common factors. Um, let's see, it looks like there's uh, 2x in common, so there's 2x here and 2x there. So I'm going to combine with 3, so that will be 6x on top. Right, so we have 6x. So I took care of uh, 3. Oops, um, I took care of the 3, 2. Right, and what else? Uh, looks like uh, you have uh, x squared plus 5 squared, and there are three of them here. So I'm going to just circle that so that I know uh, extra x squared plus 5 is there. So we have um, x squared minus 5 squared so that's in common and I think that that's it so I'm gonna collect the leftover term which is um, x squared plus 5 so so those guys are taken care of and uh, uh, minus 3x squared so it's minus 3x squared all right, so that will take care of uh, this guy right there. All right, so that's every one. And on the bottom, we have a quantity x squared plus 5 to the 6th power. All right, but uh, we can cancel. Uh, let's see, you have x squared plus 5 squared. So there are two of them here. We have six of them there, so I'm going to just change that to the 4th power. All right. Then we can just to clean it up a little bit. So you have uh, 6x right, times, right, and you have a 5 minus, right, so x squared minus 3x squared, so it's a 2x squared. And uh, on the bottom, you would have quantity x squared plus 5 to the fourth power, right? So that's the derivative for uh, part E. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.